almost like you promised to do your homework and clean up your room. When we come back, the man that nobody wants to mess with in Southfield, the chief of police, Dr. Joseph Thomas. Well, since we're at the Southfield precinct with the top guy himself, I decided to find out what happens if I got in trouble in the city of Southfield. Let's find out. Chief Thomas, you get a call on your walkie-talkie, and the officer says, uh, Chief, we got Reggie Reg over here from the radio station at Northland Mall. Uh, we caught him going past the red light, and we checked his uh, license. It's suspended. I forgot to pay a couple tickets. And I'm on my way to my girlfriend's house. I'm so anxious to get over there, and I, I passed the red light, and they got me. So they put me in a squad car. They bring me down here to the precinct. I, I'm getting out of the car. What happens to me next? I'm, I got my handcuffs on. Well, you're never allowed to walk in, in, in a free public again. You're going to be encapsulated in the back of that car. Mm -hmm. There's a cage, what we call a cage in that car, mm -hmm. that is secure. And the driver can't get to you, nor can you get out. Mm -hmm. They bring you through the open door right here. Mm -hmm. This is where you'll come in, okay? Right through that uh, garage door right okay. there. You're now in the underground. Okay. Let's say that you had uh, a, a, a jacket on, or maybe that you had something that was stolen. We will secure it in one of these lockers. And I, would I get it back or you keep it? You could, if it's yours, you get it back. Okay. If it's stolen. It's, but if it's something I got from Northland, then we <laughs> you there you go. <laughs> or if it's contraband, like weapons and drugs, the prosecutor will take it. Okay. okay. Got it. But, we'll, but we will secure it in here. Then we, the officer would pull their weapon out. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to do this. Okay. okay. We'll pull their weapon off. What's that, a 9 millimeter? No, a 357. 357, armor. okay. Yeah. You pull that weapon out. Why are you doing that? You're the, the police officer. Why do you put the... Because my policies say that no weapons are allowed up there. Uh, Not even police officers. So at this time, what we would do is we would say, okay, uh, Reg, Reg, if you have a belt on, go ahead and take your belt off. We okay. take your cuffs off. Okay. And you put your belt up So here. the cuffs are off now. Correct. If you, if you have your belt up, you put your belt up here. If you have money on you, some change, your cell phone, mm -hmm. everything gets put up here. <laughs> so, so at that time, what we do is we pull out a property sheet. Mm -hmm. So at that time, if... Fingerprint? No, that's not. No, no, this no. is just a property sheet. Okay. So when you leave here and you say, hey, I had $500, uh -huh. but you really didn't have it, right? the officer writes everything down on here, what you had, break it down to credit cards, to the article of clothing, to the, the certain cell phone brand that you have, they break it down okay. on here so you know and they know everybody's protected on what you actually have in here. Got it. Okay? Then from there... They also fill out an arrest sheet on here. They'll put all your information, your date of birth, um, if you have any scars, marks, or tattoos. Um, emergency contact. Say you're in here and you're a diabetic. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah, have yeah, any yeah. of your medicine. Yeah, all right? okay. At that time, we would let you make a call, a free call. Okay. It's to not, my doctor not to collect or, my call or anything. Medicine. Correct. To get my medicine. Yeah. Correct. Okay. To make sure you get your medicine here because okay. you normally don't stay here over 72 hours, but if you... Say you didn't take your meds for a day. Right. We want to make sure that you're taken yeah, care of, okay. so you don't have to have the ambulance here right. or anything. So we'd Absolutely. let you make that call. On that, we get emergency contact, like I said, and we put okay. all that stuff. Um, since it was at Northland Mall, the alleged crime, right. <laughs> we would put on here, you know, the retail fraud and where it was at. Um, okay. From there, they would have a lieutenant come up. Lieutenant would come up here and let you know what your bond is. Um, we bring you in here, sit you down on the bench over here. Mm -hmm. At that time, they go over all the paperwork and they put you in the computer. Mm -hmm. The computer actually generates everything. So after that arrest, now you're in the system to go to court, mm -hmm. to have your arraignment. Mm -hmm. Then after that, then you would actually go you know, to a hearing in court. When do I get the opportunity to call my attorney? <laughs> as soon as we're done with this, <laughs> okay. what I always tell people is the the faster you comply with me, the faster you can get to that phone, and the faster okay. you can get out that yeah. door. Okay. You know, let's go back and revisit that. A lot of people think I got a right to call a, call an attorney anytime I want. That's not true. Really? No. I mean, after but we process you. But isn't that for my you, protection? Isn't but, that for yeah, my benefit? After we process you, because you've been legally arrested. Mm -hmm. If you were not legally arrested according to the color of law, mm -hmm. then your attorney would find out. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we, don't, we, need to, we need to record who you are first. Okay. Then we'll let you call anybody you want to. Okay. This right here is where it's kind of changed. You almost see it like on CSI, not like the ink. Oh, yeah, the yeah. new age stuff. Yes, this is oh, all wow. computerized. This is all new age. Wow. What they do is they roll your hand over this. Oh. So it scans it. And then it also wow. comes to here, where we put your thumb on there, um, and it, it generates everything. Wow. So it's That's cleaner. You know. everything, everything is accurate. When you used to do the old ink, 
fingerprinting? Ten print card, you could call it. You know, I like Correct. to interject something right here. This is what the message you want to send to the young people. In order to be a police officer and a jail security person, you got to have a certain level of education. Mm -hmm. Because if you notice that, you just walked in, into a computerized booking right. room. It's not like John Doe can do this job right. anymore. That's why right. we tell young people to stay in school. Mm -hmm. Chief don't want none of this here. When we come back, Reggie Reg takes it to the chief. I sent him back to school. He got 99 degrees from all kind of universities all over the world. He gonna have to go back to one of them because I'm about to give him a spike when we come back. <laughs> Ready, Chief? A Tiger Woods, he is not. <laughs> <laughs>